Right, time for a check on the weather with Elizabeth and temperatures into double figures. I even left the hat at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had 10 degrees Celsius more or less yesterday and it got up to 12 degrees actually today. So feeling even milder and that, of course, is mild for the time of year. But this is how we started off the morning. Very disappointing start with lots of low grey cloud, particularly given all that sunshine we saw yesterday. But that was a weak weather front sinking southwards, a few spots of drizzle on it, nothing more. And we were all treated to something a lot more cheerful through the afternoon. Beautiful photo this with all the reflection there in the river in um, in Wapping from our weather watcher Nicholas and we carry on in the same sort of vein as we head through the rest of the week. Yes it's still going to be mild for the time of year with high pressure dominating then again it's looking mostly dry and there'll still be some sunny spells. Things will change slightly as we head into the weekend more in just a moment. Now all of the weather at the moment is happening quite far to the north and the west of the UK. For us across the capital it's going to be a fairly quiet night but it does stay quite breezy some clear spells temperatures will dip as low as perhaps three or four degrees celsius in many spots so again a fairly chilly start to the day tomorrow it's likely to be the windiest day of the week tomorrow gusts of wind of around 35 to even 40 miles an hour the best of the sunshine through the morning and then it was, it's set to turn a bit cloudier as we go through the afternoon, but it should stay dry and again, temperatures will peak in double figures and it's looking fairly similar on Thursday, but the winds will be a bit lighter. There will be some sunny spells. Yes, some areas of cloud at times, but it stays dry, high pressure to the south of the UK. Top temperatures again, well into double figures, so 11 or 12 degrees Celsius and not a lot set to change really as we head through Friday. We will start to see something a bit different though on Saturday. Today it looks a bit cloudier. We've got a cold front sinking southwards. Maybe a few outbreaks of rain on uh, Saturday night, but then we're into colder feeling air by the time we get to Sunday. So if we take a look at the outlook, you can see double figures until we get to Sunday. A dip in temperature there, but still largely dry with some sunshine around. The winds are lighter over the weekend. Thanks, Lizzie. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.